guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well and safe. I just want to first thank you so much for all the support to the channel. We just hit 3,000 subscribers and that was just unbelievable. Again, I just want to say thank you for all the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I figured I'd make a quick video highlighting a few areas in SoCal that are good for beginners who want to start overlanding but don't know exactly where to stay or what trail to see. In this video, I'll be highlighting more camping area and campsite that I personally have stayed at or seen when I was out there doing some off-roading. In this video, I'll be using Gaia GPS map to highlight all the camping areas as I think it's an overall great map to use if you're ever on the trail. All these areas are subject to changing weather as some of these areas can get a lot of snow and the trail can be quite difficult. I recommend researching each area before going out and exploring yourself. And I'll be putting in the description all the easy trails I've done in the area so that you guys can have an idea of what trail to do once you're there. For the most part, all these areas I recommend have dispersed camping, but some have yellow post site or established campground nearby. And some of these campgrounds first come first serve and some have to make reservation online ahead of time. With that being said, let's get started with the video. Trona Pinnacles area is one of the more recent areas that I've got a chance to see and explore. I've visited this area twice now and every time, it seemed like I've discovered more and more cool trails and campsites to stay in. You can get into Trona from the north side of the trail or the south side of the trail. The south side consists of some really easy sandy trail to go and explore. There's a few campsites along the south side of the trail if you want to get away from the sometimes crowded Trona Pinnacles. You can do dispersed camping along the trail south side of the Pinnacles as well. However, I highly recommend if you can to stay around the Pinnacles as it's one of the most iconic places to overland in. There's a restroom near the Pinnacle as well so it helps when you're doing dispersed camping. This is a great area to spend a night or two before heading out and explore more of the nearby landscape. This area is great since it's only a few hours away from Death Valley National Park and the Eastern Sierra as well. Trona is definitely an area that I will continue coming back and explore as there are so many trails close by. And this is all public land, so please, please practice leap no trace. Definitely an easy area to start your overlanding journey. Joshua Tree National Park is great for first time overlanding as well. I've personally been here a number of times to hike and camp. However, if you're looking for an easy trail to do some off-roading or overlanding in, I recommend Burdu Canyon. This trail is relatively easy that begins on some public land and continues on into Joshua Tree National Park. You can camp along the trail before the entrance into Joshua Tree National Park. However, I recommend if you can to book a campsite inside Joshua Tree National Park. The sunrise and sunset can be spectacular. However, if you want to do some dispersed camping, there's also a few areas just outside the south side of the National Park that can be quite nice. If you're looking for an easy trail to explore, there's a few in the north area that has dispersed camping as well. Some of these can be a bit rocky, so please do your own research before attempting any of them. This area definitely should be on the list for any first time overlander as they can enjoy some easy trail, disperse camping, but can also go into a national park to explore as well. Lido Creek is one of the more well-known off-roading overlanding area in SoCal. 
The area is relatively small compared to the other areas on the list, therefore can be quite busy on the weekend. However, Lido Creek offers some relatively easy trail and dispersed camping for those looking for a quick weekend getaway. There's also a few sections in this area that can be quite a challenge if anyone looking for more moderate trail condition. Since this area is more mountainous, most level area for camping tend to be gone if you don't show up early. There's a few established campground nearby just in case if you can't find any dispersed campsite. During the winter, this area can get quite a lot of snow. If you have a good 4x4 rig and are looking to get away a bit from the easy main trail, I highly recommend doing the Cold Water Canyon Trail. The dispersed camping spot towards the end of the trail is really cool to camp at. What I like about this area is there are so many trails nearby that you can go and explore. Overall, Lido Creek area is definitely an area that you should check out if you're looking for a good weekend getaway to go explore and do a bit of dispersed camping. Before we start on the next area, if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button. That will help this channel out tremendously. Alright, let's get back into the video. Enzo Borrego State Park is by far one of the biggest desert area you can overland and do a bit of exploring. We've personally been here a few times now and we still haven't seen everything there is this place have to offer. What we love about this area is how wide and open the landscape is. Also, there's so many easy off-roading trails that you can take without worrying about being stuck. What we also like about this area is how many dispersed campsites it has to offer. If you want a bit more amenities, then I personally recommend booking ahead some campsite at their state park campground, as well as the Aqua Caliente County Park Campground. If you're looking for some dispersed campsite along the trail, we recommend some campsite along the Arroyo Tapiado in the south side. This trail will have some cool mud caves for you to explore, as well as some awesome mud walls that provide some nice shade. For the north side, I recommend Fish Creek Wash, as it has a dispersed campground with a bathroom and some level area with fire ring in the beginning of the trail. However, if you simply want to camp along the trail, there's a few level surfaces that are quite nice and can be great camping area. All this area are dispersed camping, so please, please practice leave no trace. Enzo Borrego is definitely a cool area to spend a few days to explore and do a bit of overlanding. One of the most iconic area to do overlanding in has to be Big Bear, California. This area has so many trails that crisscross into each other and can be so much fun for anyone looking for some relatively easy trail to have fun on. We've been here countless times in the past and recently have done a few easy trail in the area. Big Bear definitely is an area the first time overlander can get the feet wet. One of the best thing about Big Bear is the many campgrounds in the area as well as countless dispersed camping spots along its many trail. Some of these campgrounds are first come first serve and some you have to make reservation in advance. However, if you're looking for dispersed camping, this area will not let you down. Skyline Drive on the south side of Big Bear Lake have countless level area for you to camp on. 
I recommend staying in the west side of the trail as it's more woodsy and there's many trees that provide shades. But if you're looking for a campsite on the north side, Holcomb Valley area have many dispersed campsites for you to choose from. Some of these are yellow post site, which sometimes can be reserved in advance, but overall it's first come first serve. But if you're looking for an established campground, there's a few around the area as well. Big Bear is definitely an overlander dream as it has so many trails to choose from. You can start with a very easy fire road all the way to Black Diamond, Hard Rock Crawling, Batch of Honor trails all nearby to each other. I highly recommend going out and spending a few days exploring this area. guys we well, hope you enjoy the list of area that you can overland near SoCal that relatively easy trail again most of this area are easy to get to if the weather is good I recommend doing your research and checking things online before going to any of these area if you're planning on doing dispersed camping in any of these spots please please practice leave no trace and pack everything that you brought in if you guys like this kind of content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you have any question, feel free to ask them on the comment below. I'll catch you guys on the next adventure.